All right, fishy folks, I am in the fish room of super breeder Doug. Doug is a guppy breeder who's won competitions IFGA. Yeah. We'll show you his plaques and plethora of awards in a minute. Go get a snack and a beverage. All right, fishy folks, here is super breeder Doug. Say hi, Doug. Hi, Doug. Doug drives a crappy <laughs> Nissan, but we won't hold that against him. Doug, I wore a special shirt for you today. All That's right. right. Nice. It says turbo? Subaru, Turbo, turbo Subaru. All right, this is Doug's little fish room where he breeds world-class guppies. That's won like thousands of awards. And you can see that uh, it's a working fish room. Tanks are green, tanks have cloudy water. There is some moam. Let's, uh, where should we start? Uh, it might be easiest to start at that end. We're gonna start at and this end. Be careful with the fish room butler, he likes to. Here's the fish room butler. Kind of looks like Doug. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here's a first place South Jersey Guppy Club award. Yeah, that was. Uh, when was that? Oh, a long, long time ago. Six Eight years, years ago. ago. Six years ago. I yeah, can't do math. Yeah, I can't that do was, math. Uh, that's not the actual fish, but that was the class, the red bicolors. Which nice. Or my red grass. And it's an IFGA sanctioned show. Yeah, and and under my name, there's a number of entries. So it wasn't like a... Oh, so... There's only two entries. Congratulations. You and you first. won? <laughs> and they were nice fish. All right. So, so I know some of my subscribers are going to be like, what the heck is Melifix doing in his fish room? You love it. Yeah, the Melifix is there for a reason. There was a, uh, a guppy... Uh -oh. The guppy oh. scourge disease about five years ago. Right. And uh, everybody's fish would die after they sent them to a show. And what was happening was nobody could figure out what to do to solve this. Because it was, wasn't a drop of water in each tank causes it to go. It was airborne. And uh, what worked was Melifix, Quick Cure. Really? And one other thing. Which... In all in conjunction with each other, yeah. or just one at a time? Yeah, the way you do uh, erythromycin. Yeah, and then the other thing, the general, these yeah. two things stopped it. Gotcha, gotcha. And See, it hasn't watches happened my again. videos. Yeah, I did. All right, so what are we? What, what are, are these saying? delicious looking guppies? Yeah, those are. Uh, I call them my extended dorsal and tail females, but they're actually uh, those fire black Moscows. Fire black Moscows, yeah. which is kind of what I'm trying to make myself. Yeah, I got to make up my own name because of the because uh, nobody else has them until you do it. Yeah, and then I'll, but I'll make up a better name. Yeah, that's not a great name. No, I think fire black Moscows is awesome. Yeah, 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 it's all right. Now, do you sell these guppies? Not yet. Some of them, not yet. Uh, if I. If there's stuff I put in shows, like the yellow deltas, the the black deltas, or a couple others, I don't sell them because right. they're, they're like a, a work in progress. Some of the uh, fish will be total crap because you've crossed them, mm -hmm. and you'll get uh, garbage. And I don't want to sell stuff that gives people garbage. So, so what you do is you cross them with different, you have like three or four lines of the color. One's for size, one's for shape, one's for fin length and then if you cross them you get a few that end up being incredible and you also get a few that are junk and you don't sell any any guppies on aquabit yeah yeah i sell a bunch of different ones i've sold the pingus the what are they called big ear red mosaic uh, dumbos dumbos yeah and what's your username on aquabit that's my last name, G R E Y, and the initial of the first name, D. Gr Gray D. Yep, very uh, imaginative. Gray D. I and keep hitting the butler. Right Gray D on Aquabid. That is it, and I'll probably be putting some of the Galaxy Guppies or ne Nebula Steel, whatever people call them, and Pingu is next. Uh, all right, so Galaxy yeah. Guppy, Nebula Steel, and Medusa Guppies, all the same? Uh, kind of. Yeah. Made up name. Yeah. Nebula. Yeah, I have Nebula Steels. I've called them Steel Nebulas just to be different. Sherry called me out on it. And <laughs> and I bought Medusa Guppies, too. They're the original. What actually happened, there's actually a guy I knew who seems to be out of a business right now. 
on Aquabid, and he had a guppy breeder friend, and what he did was he crossed three different strains, Medusa Galaxies, something else, and he came up with Nebula Steel, like I did for whatever I'm calling those black fans. Fire, black fire mouths or something. Something, yeah. Tom loves that name, by the way. Really? Yeah, yeah. What a guy. Yeah, he's a, he's all right. All right, so so let's continue with the tour. Certainly. What do we have in this tank? Yeah, this was a uh, what I mean by when you cross guppies, you get all kinds of stuff you didn't expect. <laughs> I crossed uh, the red lace snake spins with what the heck did I cross them with? I had it written down up there. I guess I moved it, but I think it was the uh, uh, the I forget. No, oh, it'll have me. In a <laughs> And I ended up with uh, bluegrass uh, metalheads. Bluegrass metalheads, and then there's which is an actual name. Yeah. And that female with the incredible finnage is a swallow version, and of course she's in the back while you're trying. Yeah, to yeah. Catch it, Here she's then, coming towards us now. It's actually a fertile fish because she went from being really fat to thinning out, and you can see there's a bunch of babies from yeah. all the other females. There's. Uh, yeah, I there she is. In, she looks like she's. she's having a hard time swimming with that big old thing yeah she hides in the plants a lot but those uh, you can even see that the pet fins are extremely long yeah it's uh, I got a few of them out of it and that one grew to adulthood I mean you can't use anything like that in IFGA classes because they don't accept that stuff it's got to be a perfect specific type of uh, female yeah yeah all right moving on Japanese blue fire tails exactly with some Baby brine shrimp? Yeah, well, I fed them uh, frozen Frozen brine, brine shrimp. shrimp. Yeah, yeah. A couple of them tanks decided to eat nothing. <laughs> and so these are the ones it looks like I got from Natural Pet that didn't make it. I think yeah. they're the same. I I think so. They look awful the same, except I think yours had longer tails. And, uh, Maybe. Was... Mine were from Czechoslovakia, from an order that Mark placed from Czechoslovakia. And I don't... I don't blame Mark at all. I just, I mean, they were in my tank for about a week and then. Well, yeah, it happens. I mean, they go through a lot of stress. Like, imagine they went to a trans shipper from Czechoslovakia, then another one to get into country, and then somewhere else, and then the store. So right, right, right. They're dead by the time you open the pack. Yeah, pretty much. And so, what's in here? Yeah, these are a specific type of half black reds. They actually, they're not my fish. They're uh, a friend of mine, a very good breeder in Ohio, Tony Anderson, and he's moved into a new house and is building a fish room so he sent me some young of his lines to uh, keep alive which so far so good <laughs> and i have to call out some here and there but these i've left alone they're they really look good they do look good what you want to have with them is a dark black body a bright red tail and bright red dorsal the red in the front which is called a saddle doesn't matter doesn't get you any extra points or anything. Yeah, my half blacks don't have that red saddle. I'm glad you said saddle because I had no idea what to, I was going to call it a red face. Yeah, yeah, it'll work too. All right. And uh, he, I think I have about six tanks of this fish here. So these are, uh, next one, these are my cold uh, black Moscow's. These are your culls. Yeah, I took them out because uh, I was kind of lazy. I had an extra tank. And they were, I've never had anything but black Moscow's. Right. And I was getting the three quarter blacks, mm. which I've never gotten before out of the few lines of black Moscow's. And then I had an albino. Is that what that, so, what I thought was a yellow fish? Yeah, it's an albino female, which doesn't like to, the camera I, apparently. We, there it is, it's in the back. We saw it when I first moved to this tank. It's right there, guys. Wow. And it, it's pretty unbelievable to get an al albino, albino, he said, in a black Moscow tank. Yeah. So I really wanted, so I got like about six males in there, three-quarter black, the full black, anything. Because I don't know what's related to her that made that uh, albino minus so, uh, coloration fish. So you're trying to get more? Yeah, just want to get some babies and see what it will be. You know, nice. The only problem with that is you end up using tanks that I shouldn't be using. <laughs> so that's why when you, you know, scan around the room, you'll see I have specimen containers with fish in it, bowls. It's, it's not the ideal So, so what you're saying is it's a working fish room? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Because you got to cull fish, and you got to put it somewhere, so I use these little cups. You got to do whatever you got to do. And then I don't want to kill the fish, usually. I don't know if he's on there. 
it's actually a nice fish. It's a black one, but it's got some different color in the tail. So I was like, well, I can't let this one hit the other females. And besides the dirt, there's like a different color in the tail. Now, how often do you like change that water? Uh, a couple of weeks, I take it down to this and fill it back up with uh, the sage water. And people, you know, 100% water change daily, those discus freaks. I've, I've done 80, 90%, and the only time that has backfired is uh, this past week, I lost almost all my pluckers. Apparently, really? they can't take a 80% water change. They crap so much. You yeah, should have I, told me. I would have brought you plecos. I, ha I have a legitimate poop ton of plecos. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. Next uh, time. Yeah. All right. So these are. Yeah, these are yellow deltas, which uh, actually finished fourth in the country. Fourth in, yellow in the country. Class, which, That's... Yeah, it's not a strong, popular strain. So this is one that may not get a lot of entries. You may send in three entries and maybe two other guys sent them. Oh, gotcha. So it's... There's a few strains where some people that just get into the showing part of things start with because there's not a lot of competition. It's not. I mean, if you want to show reds, blues, greens, there's uh, a ton. You can't compete. These guys, the main IFGA guys, their fish are so big, you can't compete because size will uh, get the most points. Now, is there no air on this tank for a reason, or did you not know there was no air? It probably just uh, okay. Took a break. Okay, it's taking a break. Yeah, that's, I have the, uh, when you get to it, I have one pump running yep. everything up to there, which is pretty amazing. And I bought an extra one in case it craps out. I have one pump running my whole fish room, and Jemco says you, have, you should replace the diaphragms once a year. I bought them a year ago. The pump's two years old. I still haven't done it. Maybe I'll it, do it tomorrow. I doubt it. it I've done it with, uh, with this one. And I have another one in the box over there. That's a Dolphin AV50, which is like a pond master. Right. Uh, obviously a pond pump. All right. But anyway, next few tanks are uh, the red mosaic big ear, dumbo ear guppies. And so are these the ones you got from overseas? Yeah, from Indonesia. Now that big male in there that doesn't have a lot of red, and there's one female that's kicking the bucket, looks really scrawny whatever yeah those fish are actually a year and a half old so they're they can how, stay alive for as long as they want to stay alive okay how long do guppies stay alive for usually uh the smaller strains like double swords uh probably endlers can probably get two years out of them the larger guppies like these uh, deltas and whatever you anytime after a year you can expect the uh, grim reaper <laughs> A Show grim them. reaper. <laughs> grim fish reaper. <laughs> and so these are just females from the same? Yeah. Yeah, I, I had a male in there. He decided to uh, visit the floor when I was asleep. <laughs> and and uh, he was a goner. All right, so here we have a yeah, uh, specimen I, container with... Yeah, those fish are... I didn't want to throw them in the trash yet, but just to show that good guppy breeders still have some crap fish. And yeah. Been treating them with the... Uh, whatever it's called, flakes... Uh, but it's not working. They're, they're so thin, they're going to kick it. Yeah. Parasite flake or something. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Which, and he, here's a little sign for me. <laughs> so, so In the dirt. We, we had a little conversation about this tank well, as soon as I got here. He's like, do you want me to erase it? I'm like, no, I love stuff like that. I don't like what it says, but I think yeah. it's funny. It's actually pretty good uh, printing for me. Yeah. <laughs> What are these? Are these the same? Yeah, these are the black lace snakeskins. Black that I lace snakeskins. Uh, that's what I'm calling them. I need more of uh, the snakeskin pattern on the body. Right. You can see with some of the males, they have some black markings on the side. Yeah. If you try to enter that in a show, they'll get DQ'd because there's it's got to be like 80%, I think, snakeskin. And a snakeskin is different from cobra. Cobra is eh, any side markings. Snakeskin is a... Uh, intricate lace pattern in IFGA in or yeah. in the real world well either one but people call them whatever yeah so somebody once told me that oh so you said snakeskin and lace yeah lace meaning the tail what about cobra yeah cobra well when we get to it those would be cobras no yeah. so, so cobra snakeskin and lace all different yeah okay all right lace refers to the tail lace refers to the tail the snakeskin pattern uh, which probably will show up better on the red lace ones a couple times over, has a interlocking uh, lace 
No, not really lace. Interlocking uh, snakeskin pattern. All right. And when you look at a cobra next to it, it, it doesn't look the same. What are these? They're uh, uh, past generation, I guess, because they're about to go. Of those fire black Moscow's. Gotcha. There's some fry in there. Because there's a lot of babies in there. Yeah, there is a lot of fry in there. Some of the babies I'll have to feed to the axolotls because they're swimming like a 90-year-old uh, Mark Spitz. <laughs> Their days are over. That's a good they callback right there, Mark Spitz. <laughs> That's a good callback. Uh, these are obviously yellow deltas. Yeah, these I'm are spectacular. Throwing these out for the uh, first show in April. Very nice. So next tank is just some males of the red lace snakeskins. And if you look at the good shot of the body pattern, you can see that's different than a cobra because it gets oh yeah an interlocking uh, and pattern. And it just black, a couple of black spots in there? Yeah, and in reality, I'd like to get them out, the black spots. Right. But, uh, you can't really paint fish. <laughs> so, I, ha I don't have any females in that one because uh, I'm just trying to figure out what males I'm going to use. Gotcha. Uh, the next tank there is, uh, I made a cross of my Japan blue double snakes. Right. With those uh, Japan blue fire tails. You see, they don't look anything like the Japan blue fire tails. They obviously the the Japan blue is the aquamarine type is the uh, dominant gene. Yeah. So I'm waiting for another generation, and we have a Subaru the snail in there. It just crept out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, those snails are fascinating. They eat uh, duckweed. Really? Which is why they're in my tank. I'm gonna have to get some. Yeah. What really are they? What kind of snail? They were, I bought them, they were called an apple snail. Apple snail. I don't know the difference between apple or mystery. That makes two of us. But sometimes you can see them at the top of the tank with their actual mouth eating the duckweed. I'm going to have to get some of those. I used to keep a goldfish in the fish room for, yeah, chunky, to eat duckweed. Uh, chunky whatever. Chunky gold medina. Very good. I remember that. He remembers. All right, what do we got? Oh, oh, what the hell? I knocked into the he hat helmet. Food. You know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna walk this way. Well, they're, they're just a Japan blue. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. let's go over here. <laughs> so, so you built these racks yourself? Uh, no, I wish I did. I'm not that talented. That was a uh, local carpenter who redid my kitchen, and I gave him a design he came up with for these racks. Right. He improved it. I told him the dimensions for the top, which you can see are narrower. Yeah. Specifically for five and a half. Five and a half. And the middle is for tens, and the bottom I have fifteen longs. 15 longs. I like the 15 long. Yeah. I have one. I bought them off a guy off a Craigslist. I got like six of them for 80 bucks. That's that's not bad because I don't and think they make those anymore. I don't think so. And they're real thick glass. Heavy as hell. Oh, too. old school. Yeah. All right. So, so what do we got over here? Because some of these look pretty damn spectacular. Yeah, thank you. That was uh, the uh, cross I made of, of all things a Russian, the black lace snakeskin, which could be called Russian ones. <laughs> and uh, half black blue females. The, the two or three large females are the original females of the cross. Right. The black lay snakeskins males died within a month or two. I guess they were so happy uh, dating <laughs> with a different color. <laughs> well, I should be careful. With, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A prettier girl that they freaked and dropped. So those two males are from the first batch. Right. And some people might ask, why do you keep babies in. It's, it's kind of like a colony breeding. But what I want to do is I want the older males with the color I like to hit the young females in a guppy way. And, uh... Sorry. <laughs> and the uh, result should be you get more that look like the original males. Right. Now, where'd the yellow come from? I have no idea. I, I doubt if it came from the snake skin because I would love to make yellow snake skins. Yeah. So they must be in the half black blue side. And a lot of times when you mix genes, something else becomes dominant. I really would prefer to not have the yellow, but after a while, it kind of looks pretty good with that. I think it looks fantastic. Now, you can't show that or anything, but it looks I great, right? probably get away as a half black AOC. Really? Oh, yeah, maybe. Any other color is AOC. Yeah, yeah. I learned that, too. And the dorsals are really nice and long, which is what you want for IFGA fish. Right. But you really want the same tail color to be in the dorsal. So, All right, what do we got going on over here? Yeah, this was another cross I made with the uh, red lay snakeskins to uh, my uh, red grass guppies. 
And what ended up happening, as you can see, is I got metal heads out of it, which I think is on the grass side of things, but I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, this one's terrible. I would normally call that one. Right. That's my finger. <laughs> uh, because the fins, the edges look like frilly. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, I don't like that. No, me neither. But I, I kind of need the jeans from different males to keep hitting the The females. females. That's the second generation. So I don't want to uh, introduce other snake skins to screw right, it up. Right, Because I actually like that. And so the theory is the more generations with the same genes, the stronger the gene becomes. Yes. The, the exactly. whatever dream you're looking for. Yeah, and yeah. you can see this weird female yeah. at the bottom there with that one long fin extension. <laughs> that probably means that there's swallow genes in that uh, gene pool. Right. Because uh, that's bizarre. But if you remember back to the female with the uh, really uncomfortably long fins, <laughs> that's also what she has. Gotcha. Alright, are these more of there's, uh, this from, tank? No, they're actually from a friend of mine, uh, Tony. He sent me these, uh, well, they're supposed to be full blues, blues, because I wanted to try to make blue lace snake skins. Right. But I'm afraid to use Moscow's because, as you can see, when I cross Moscow's with snake skins, you get exactly what you're not after. <laughs> and so, nobody wants that. And they're not quite blue. They're purple and greenish and yellowish, as you noted. Yeah. But as they get older, they get really dark blue. Those two males, the large ones that are purple, I think, are the original fathers that he sent me about a year ago. And they're still doing well. Yeah, they're still in there. Now, one other thing for people that buy IFGA type copies with the long dorsals and stuff, you have to keep up on water changes. Because the first thing that happens, I don't have any like that right now, oh, we'll get a white edge around the tail. Right. I don't know what that is, it's probably a fungus. It's because, I think, it takes so much blood and effort to get that blood to the tail that once the water uh, quality drops, their tail is the first thing to go. So that's how I usually know I really, really needed to do a water change. <laughs> but by then, you're going to lose the males or they're going to mess up the tail. You'll end up with eh, not quite like that fringy thing yeah, you'll yeah. get like a noticeably crappy edge okay all right so that's that's really why i shouldn't be keeping that many fish in the tank but i got so many fish and so many strains that you gotta you gotta lay off the strains pretty much or get more tanks yeah and, uh, <laughs> that's the bottom line these are half black blues which came from an ifga breeder and i'm getting half black purplish and light half black blues but the females are good. You can just tell the body is yeah, big. solid. The fins are good. Nice uh, round tail. Nice. There's different types of guppy female tails. It's like a shark type tail. There's a round tail. And these really off the wall long tails I've got. Yeah, those things are weird. Yeah. They're is this thing all females? No, there's a male just in there. This, uh, they're galaxy guppies, nebula steel, yeah. medusa. <laughs> or, so, There's a couple males in there, I see. Yeah, just a couple males. Uh, I have two more tanks of them somewhere. All here. right, let me ask you a question. I've done an unscientific study that shows the warmer the tank, the more males. Huh? Uh, that works with cichlids. I don't know with guppies. I, I don't have any cichlids. Well, I do have cichlids. I don't breed any cichlids. I'm talking about for guppies. I've... Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it, it could be. I think it's also genetics because uh, part of the thing with the red lace snake skins... I got 80% males. Wow. And I don't have heat in these tanks. So, I don't know how that happened. What's the temperature in the fish room? Uh, 70. So 42% these, humidity. These, these tanks can't be more than 70. Uh, probably 68 to 70. I don't, I don't ever know how to read those things. Yeah, and I don't ever know how accurate they are it's either. Like but the government color scale for national security. It's like, you know, are we still alive? And I just want to point out, folks, <laughs> there's algae in his tank. I, I don't know. I should just leave now. I mean, <laughs> all right. Yeah, the algae is there. They eat for it. two reasons. One, exactly, they eat it because they want to be fed all the time. Yeah, and like two, me. I'm not scraping all the tanks. Yeah, why would you? the fronts. Actually, the front glass of my tanks are actually pretty clean for, <laughs> the, for a fish room. Yeah. I clean the fronts sometimes, too. I don't actually clean the inside and the outside. Really? 
Yeah. Once in a while. Oh, these are half black AOCs yeah. uh, from a breeder that gets about fifty dollars a pair for them. Really? Yeah. I, I shouldn't say his name because I didn't pay fifty dollars a pair from the person. Well, don't say his name. <laughs> That's not nice. But he's frequently in the top two or three in the country. You know, for those. Yeah. yeah, they'll end up with long delta tails and the uh, black leopard like spots. I like the leopard like spots. Yeah. And what do we have here? These are yet again more uh, platinum red mosaic uh, Dumbo ears. They were born. September 14th. This is my incredible uh, system. Yeah, my system of uh, it's got to be the, the most technology you <coughs> see. I post it with a uh, now, now, are those all virgin females? Believe it or not, some of them are males. Uh, this one's going to be a male. Uh, these fish take three months to color up. So really? I, three I, I do months. see the the male thingy yeah. thing. Yeah, I don't want to get in the way of the camera. It's got the uh, black uh, pec fins yep. coming in yep. and a pattern in the tail. Yep. And some of them are long fin. Sadly, the long fin males are kind of useless. Uh, you can't. You can't. You can't get it Do done. their thing. Can't get out. So <laughs> some people have said it's possible. Maybe they can when they're young. Uh, before the thing gets out of control. And As you can see, like in this thing. <laughs> it's like, this thing's like uh, walking a dog. All right. <laughs> so, so here's right. some more males, or so some more. A month older, and you can see the males are coloring up. Yeah. It takes like an extra month for the dorsal to get the tail color. Wow. So that was why I, I waited a while before I put some on Aquabid, because, you know, to be honest, I wanted to get some of my money back. Right. I spent about 120 bucks for the first pair. But I don't want to sell something to somebody that doesn't look like it's posted. Sure, 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 sure. I, so, I get it. There, these are some more. Of them. Some more, yeah, yeah. There, I think there's actually a male in there too. And there is. That male's a little older, and you there can is see a male. his dorsal is turning red. Yeah, yeah, he looks great. They look like my platinum. What do I call them? Platinum <laughs> red mosaic <laughs> dragon. Dragon. I don't remember. I I label them now. Okay. Well, so I we don't forget. Yeah, all right. What do we got here? Something different. Yeah, these are all red albinos. I also got from the same guy in Indonesia. And uh, the males crapped out on me right away. Those three large females are actually the first generation. Okay. Born in around April or so. And they've had two batches of babies. Did they have any boys? Well, uh, one of them's definitely a, a boy at the top there with the darker red tail. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'll be a male. So he's going to be busy. He's going to have to get to all those females. He's going to have to get some work done. I'm yeah. assuming there's nothing in here? There shouldn't be. There's, no, there is. No, there's, there's something in there. In yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a little, little yeah. something, something. There's something in there I haven't fed, so that's... Uh, yeah, I, I found a tank like that after like a month. I thought it was empty, and there was a female and a couple fry. I'm like, all right. Okay. All right. Yeah, these were... Uh, I had to come up with a name for these. I haven't yet. Maybe some of your subscribers can make up a name. They're like a red-blue mosaic uh, metalhead. <laughs> Red-blue... <laughs> They're definitely a metalhead. You can see some of it in a couple of the males. Okay. There's one male I have to call out, but... When I do crosses, sometimes I don't want to call out the odd-looking one because he still has half the genes you want. Right. But I'm obviously after... I was after a, a bluegrass, and the metal head was extra. I didn't get grass. Bonus. <laughs> the, the difference between grass and mosaic, the grass... I don't know why the Asians called it that. They're little dots. I guess they look like a blaze of grass from above. I don't know. I don't know. Uh... Okay. And this next tank is another one of these uh, Galaxy Nebula Steel whatever. Medusa, whatever. These are, <laughs> I'm breeding because I want orange and black tails. Oh, for Halloween. Uh, and for Flyers fans. <laughs> black uh, Moscows? Yeah, these are breeders I took out of these two tanks, which we'll get to soon. And I set them up specifically. I went with uh, the body shape and tail shape of the males. They're not as dark as they should be yet because they've only been in that tank 12 hours and, you know, it's kind of yeah. light on them. Yeah, yeah. But I picked, as you can see, some really long fin, yeah. dorsal fin females, which are really unusual. Now, these look like they have white on the tail, on the edges of the tail. Is that the same white you were talking yeah, about? That could be. Okay. Yeah, it could be. Because right. uh, I did a water change and moved them in last night. All right. So, uh, and I have some shorter dorsal ones in there. These are, uh, uh, sadly, the guys passed away. Uh, Luke Roebuck, he was a very, very good ambassador for the hobby and an IFGA guy. His full reds, which are different than my 82 other tanks of full reds. <laughs> so uh, I resurrected them. I had three beautiful tanks in them, but like an idiot, I overstuffed them. 
and I ended up Not having good a crash. Things happen, yeah. So this is what I was able to save, which is why there's all ages in there. Right. So it's actually it's, it's from one female and one male. Okay. It's coming back. Different generations. Yeah. Yeah. But thank goodness I had that, or else they were gone. And I don't know how to find him because he's dead, and I don't know who bought fish from him. So, Black Moscow's. Yeah, these are Black Moscow's. They're actually two separate lines. Really? And uh, I thought I called that one out. I got a three-quarter black in there. Yeah. That's exactly what I don't want. Now, a lot of them have switched over to all black, so it's not as terrible, but I'm definitely, when you leave, I'm going to pull him out. And <laughs> put him on the floor, and he's done. Well, <laughs> You mean feed them to the axolotls? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. The we're circle of life. Humane. We're very humane. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was another tank of black moscas. This is a cross in progress, and you can actually see some results. I started with the uh, black delta males. Right. Which there's only one, two left. And uh, the Medusa females, because I had too many. Right. And you can see, obviously, these generations coming up, they don't look like black deltas. Right. Uh, sorry about my finger. That's okay. Uh, there's some males, some of these are getting color in the tail, so they could end up being anything. I'll be excited to see what they look like. Yeah. So. All right, two gallon tank? Yeah, that's what happens when you have too many uh, fry drops and you gotta come up with something in the meantime. You know what I do? I feed them to Chewy. But I never have too many. Because really, if I have too many, I just add them. I could also add them to the mutt tank, yeah. and I can't keep enough mutts around, so. Well, they're actually black deltas, and uh, I got to get them into a bigger tank because uh, you keep them in a smaller tank. It's okay for a little while, but it stunts the growth. And yeah. It really does. Yeah. And there's another small tank. Yeah. Now, uh, if you notice with my lids, I try to keep the opening opposite of the next tank. Ah. Somebody jumped into the black Moscow tank, which is okay because it's female. Can't mess anything up. But I don't know what she is or where she came from. Yeah, so, so you, you got to figure it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I think we did this already. Did we do this? Those did. I don't know if you're at the bottoms. There's stuff in it. The bottom. Yeah, right I'm there. a fat guy. I like to. I mean, I should. <laughs> I should show you the axolotls because they're kind of creepy. Yeah. And a, uh, next one's a breeding pair of rams. They uh, they bred. I actually caught the video online and made the video and uh, and ate it. So. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I had that happen too. And next, uh, they're calls. Calls, calls, some They are not supposed to look like that. <laughs> uh, and then the rest are some albino quarry breeding colony, but one of them's down to two. The That's not much of a colony. Nine, I know. Yeah. And the other tank that looks like it has rams in it. All right, fishy folks, we're gonna we're gonna stop here. That that was part one of Doug Gray's fish room. Check out Gray D on Aquabit. Yeah, and D Gray on uh, YouTube. D Gray on YouTube. To be totally confusing. Stand by for part two another day. All right, fishy folks. I got to move because there's that picture there. So this will be the first blooper.